In this video, we are going to install AutoGPT, a tool that has taken over the internet for the last few weeks. It could be the next ChatGPT because it can do things on its own. It can think, sort of. You know, when you use ChatGPT, you have to think of a prompt to get the results. What AutoGPT does is it prompts itself. Go to AutoGPT website, simply search AutoGPT, go to the GitHub link, or you can enter this link directly here. This is a Python program, really. This is a code. Now what it is, it is not a new version of ChatGPT. It uses the same APIs that power ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an interface to OpenAI's GPT model. You can also access this model through its APIs, which is what AutoGPT does. The documentation here is pretty self explanatory even more so if you are a coder now if you're like my mother who trembles at the sight of technology listen up all you have to do is follow these steps one by one first of all you need to get a tool called git to download the source code from the github repo onto your computer now i already have it installed you can go to this website gitcm.com slash downloads and you can select which operating system that you are using now because it is a python program you need to install python as well Pretty much the same thing, go to python.org slash downloads and click on the version that you want to install. For this tool, we need at least 3.8. Choose anything above 3.8. I'm currently using 3.9. Go to the download link and again, select the operating system. Next, on your computer, create a new directory for installing AutoGPT. Navigate into that directory. Now come back to the repository page, copy this git loan command here, come back to the terminal, paste it there, press enter, and let it download the code. Now, in that directory, a new directory has been created called AutoGPT. Again, change directory from the terminal into AutoGPT. The first thing that you need to do before running it is execute this command. It makes sure that uh, we are downloading, we are using the code on the right version for AutoGPT. So git checkout stable will mean that it, I, we are running this stable code. Now, you need OpenAI API keys for this. You'll have to go to platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys. It will ask you to sign in. If you don't have an account, just create an account or use your Google existing Google account or Microsoft account. Once you have logged in, you have to come under view API keys, create an API key. Copy that API key. By default, when you create a new account, you'll be granted $5 to play around with the API. Now we have our API keys. Is it time to take over the world yet? Actually, someone actually did it. They created something called as Chaos GPT to take over the world and destroy humanity, apparently. It's quite funny. I'll give you the link in a minute. Let's go to the folder where we have downloaded the code. Open that folder and we are looking for a hidden file here. By default, hidden files are, well, hidden. On Mac, press Command, Shift and period. This will reveal all the hidden files. I think in, on Windows, you can actually see the dot files anyway. So you're looking for a file called env.template. Rename that file to chest.env. Now you have to open that in your favorite text editor. You can use Notepad++ or Notepad, or you can use text edit on Mac. Now you have the configuration for AutoGPT open. We are looking for a section called OpenAI API key. Replace that your OpenAI API key with the API key you just generated. Copy the next command, paste it, and enter. Now it is time to run AutoGPT. All you have to do is type this command, python hyphen n AutoGPT. This is the AutoGPT interface. So let's give it a simple task. Write the introduction for this video. You need to give an AI name, YouTube script writer. Describe the AI's role, an AI designed to create YouTube scripts. Press enter. Now you can enter up to five goals. So I am going to say, search on AutoGPT, Write an introduction for a YouTube video, how to install AutoGPT locally. Write the introduction to a file. Once complete, terminate. You can enter up to five goals. I'm only doing four and press enter. So now it has already identified the link for AutoGPT. The guy who created AutoGPT has a demo here on this page, on the code page, this video. If you check it out, an AI designed to teach me about AutoGPT. Search for AutoGPT and find the local GitHub and figure out what the project is. And it goes through all that. It has a plan of action and opens up the page to create a text and save it to the file. Oh, that didn't work. So let's try again. So if you restart, for some reason it didn't work, it will ask whether you want to continue with the last prompt. 
just put Y and press enter to use the previous, the last settings. All right, this is how it works. It has some thoughts. I think I should start by researching on AutoGPT to understand it better. I need to understand AutoGPT to be able to write a script on how to install it locally. This is a plan of action, research on AutoGPT, write an introduction, save the introduction to a file. I need to ensure that I am thorough in my research and that the introduction is clear and concise. That is its criticism. After every reasoning, you can either give yes or no and entering Y is yes, entering N will immediately terminate the program. The way it is actually popularized nowadays is using the continuous mode, where you don't have to interact with it. Run it in the continuous mode and it will continue the loop until the goal is achieved. What I found is that uh, there should be a way of reviewing its actions in the middle. Here, instead of Y or N, I can say something like, look for information only on GitHub page or AutoGPT. And then it will take that human feedback into consideration. But you can also say Y hyphen a number, which could be like three or five. What it means is that it will do five iterations on its own. And then it will stop again to ask for input from the human user so that we have a chance to adjust its behavior to nudge it in a certain direction if it kind of like wandered off. So this is what I found useful. If you're using continuous mode, there is no way to interrupt it other than terminating the program. Doing a Google search, it has retrieved all the results there. It can also open browser windows. I think it has already found an introduction for this YouTube video and probably it has already... Oh wow! It just achieved. This hasn't happened before. <laughs> Maybe they will say change something in the latest score or something else that's to that effect. All right, let's go to let's open that folder in Mac. You can just say open dot. It will open that folder over there from the terminal. The doings of this script is actually in AutoGPT workspace here, and you have AutoGPT intro. It has created the file. Let's see. Welcome to this tutorial on how to install AutoGPT locally. So let me just quickly show you how to run it autonomously. You can also give a limit as well. 10 iterations is being creative rather than doing a research. Let's go see what it has done. AutoGPT workspace installation tutorial. Let's see. First, make sure you have Python 3.6. That's incorrect. AutoGPT package. <laughs> There's no such thing. So. AI is not going to replace your jobs anytime soon, but there is potential once it figures out how to reliably gather data. Now, you can also make it speak. Text-to-speech, use Mac OS text-to-speech. Enable that because I am on a Mac. Otherwise, you can go to 11 Labs and get an API key and put your 11 Labs API key here. I'm just going to use Mac OS TTS. And so, Welcome back. Would you like me to return to being YouTube writer? <laughs> so if you're a Mac, you don't need to create an 11 Labs key. You can actually you can actually enable that text to speech on Mac. Yes. I will start by researching on Auto GPT to understand what it is and how it works. I want to execute Google. It works. I will now browse the website to find out more about AutoGPT and how to install it. I want to execute browse website. A change is coming because everything is exploding in the AI space these days. This is this is a big change. You should try these tools. The landscape of AI is changing, the landscape of job is changing, how we manage our time is changing. Everyone is trying to get ahead in some way with these AI tools to save them money to have some sort of convenience in their daily lives, make their lives easier. You may get left behind if you don't keep up. The only worry is that, are we getting more lazy? If you can at least eliminate the grunt work using these technologies, we'll be able to explore new ideas and make new innovations. That's it. Subscribe. In this video, we are going to take over.